Hi guys, welcome back to SQL Junction dot in. This is Shrikan. Today we are going to talk about the in detail regarding mm -hmm. statistics. Last video we have created a non cluster index on a stat test table. So when we have created index uh, called as ix underscore stat test, that time the statistic object was created automatically. Okay. Now we'll see how the data was there in the statistic when we create it okay so basically there are a lot of ways to view the statistic the one of the way is dbcc command which shows statistics we need to pass the name of table along with the name of index or the statistic this will give me the detail of that particular statistic so when i execute this dbcc store statistics that time three section will come up the first section is called as the stat header second is called as vector density and third one is called as the histogram okay we'll talk about one by one the first section is called as the header stat in that one the first column is called as the name which will tell us the name of statistic then the next column is updated which will give us information that when the last time was the statistic was updated basically next is rows uh, when the statistic was created or updated how many rows was there in a table then is called as a row sample this number will tell us that how many rows has been considered while creating the statistics the next step is called next next column is called as a steps basically there are 200 steps uh, one can be that is two zero two hundred and one if the if, if the column has a null value basically then uh, we'll talk about this in, when we'll think about when we'll talk about histogram the next is called as a density the density value is just for the backward compatibility average key length it will give us the uh, the ca it will give us the average key length in in terms of bytes then string index filter expression basically this column will have the value if we have created a filter index the next section is called as the or the vector density basically so you may have question that how this value has been calculated it has a very simple formula the formula is one upon distinct value in a first column so distinct value in the first column is we have the call we have a column called as a column one so let's see the distinct values so the distinct values are 10,000 so 1 by 10,000 <coughs> is 0 0.001 so let's run dbcc command and see 0 0.01 so this is the value and this value is calculated by this formula so basically let's say if we, you have composite index then on the two or more than column so you might be in two or three entries for in the vector density column now next section is called as the histogram Basically, histogram is a data distribution of a unique value in a columns. Basically, first column. It always take a first column. Let's say if you have created a composite index, then it will consider that. Now, in this one, how it is represented? Basically, you will see range high keys. So, basically, these are the ranges. So, from 1 to 9999. Then from 9999 to the 10,000. Now, you'll, if you'll observe it carefully, if you ignore 1 and 9999, the difference you will get is 9997. This is range row. So, basically, what does it mean? It means in between the 1 and 9999, there are 9997 rows. Note this is now the distinct, this is just a rows. Okay, the next column is called as the EQ rows. So, this will tell us the how many rows are there which has a value equal to the 9999, and it will tell me that there are there is only one row which has.